Jenny. He made jokes all the time. He played games all the time. And he loved to play the guitar. Lots of friends. He, he was just a special kid. He was so smart. And so things seemed to start changing um, later in his, his younger years. What, what happened? That's when it all started. Something had changed in him. Because I had just lost my son, he had just lost his grandpa. And uh, things were spiraling. So um, when he initially didn't... went there, what what was their evaluation of him? It's paranoid schizophrenia. Probably 10 minutes later and all the cops were there and they had surrounded the house and Carl had come up with his hands out saying I did it and um and what did he do? come out with his hands on his head yelling I had um I did it he was not in his right mind I mean, I knew he was mentally ill, but by that time he was of age and, and parents can't just... Yeah, we didn't know the definition of schizophrenia at the time. Yeah. He got none of the treatment that he was supposed to get. And this is all pre-trial. This is all... This is all pre-trial. Pre Out of these letters, the judge got to hear about it. But the judge did not instruct for the jury to hear about it. So the jury did not hear about any of this incompetency. And did they explain why? No. No. And, um, he has been 28 years incarcerated for something he was not mentally incompetent. Mentally incompetent. Yeah. Yes, he's my son. I love him. I told him years and years ago, there's nothing you can do that I will not forgive just didn't know it was going to be this hard. But yes, I have forgiven him. I want him out before I die. <laughs>